Good morning guys and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness. Well today we have a little bit of a unique challenge. It is all for the chest and it is completed using only two moves. Now, before you shut off this video and say, well that sounds boring, a whole workout of two moves, hear me out, okay? We are doing this whole entire workout superset style and pyramid style. So what that means for us is we have two sets at a certain number of reps of chest presses and chest flies, okay? And we're gonna decrease those reps and increase our weights to progressively overload our muscles as we go down that pyramid, okay? But to break things up and to keep them fresh, all these sets, we are gonna do 30 seconds of some sort of fun cardio strength interval in between each superset. So I'm gonna be using my BOSU for a lot of them, but you absolutely do not need a BOSU to knock these out and um, make them count. So I'll also be using um, my boxes, 20 and 24 inches. You do not need those either. So don't stop the video because you think you're going to be bored and don't stop the video because you think you're not going to have enough equipment, okay? Just don't stop the video, period. Try this with me. So what you're going to need for this workout is a wide variety of weights because we'll be doing chest flies, which don't require usually too, too, too much weight. And we'll be doing chest presses where we can kind of amp it up quite a bit. So once you have your weights, um, you have your BOSU if you have it. Uh, nice sturdy elevation for you to step up on if you have it. And you could possibly add your weighted vest if you want to, if you're a glutton for punishment like me. Uh, once you have all that stuff and your can-do attitude, which is absolutely not optional, and some water, also not optional, I will see you back here for your warm-up. All right, everybody, let's get your chest crusher workout started with a good warm up. We're just going to start with some steps and reaches with poles or low impact butt kickers with a back squeeze. So, my kiddos don't have school today. So, I thought I'm going to get up really early and record. And guess what? Almost all of them are up with me now, so if you hear any funny background noises, that's what you hear. That's what it is. Do a couple more each side. One, two. Now we're going to go into some lunges and open our chest. So take a nice big lunge out, open your arms, stretch the chest. This is a chest focus workout, but you've got some nice lower body cardio moves to do in between those sets to break things up and to get your heart rate up. My little girl could sleep through just about anything, and most of the time does, which is a blessing because she is not a morning person. So when she gets woken up before she's ready, yikes. Do one more each side here. Here comes one and two. All right, let's come down to your mat, or you could do these on a box. But I'm going to stay on my knees the whole time and warm up some nice push-ups. My dad and I ran our half marathon two days ago, and my legs are still really raw from that. So I think this workout will help me ease back into using them. All right, two more. One and two. Awesome. Stretch it out a bit. Hop on up. We're going to get a very small set of weights. We're going to come down to our mats and do some chest presses. Get warmed up. I'm going to be using my BOSU today for a lot of these chest press and fly moves, but you do not need to have a BOSU or a bench to get this done. The only reason I use the BOSU is for an extended range of motion.
Let's do two more. Really squeeze at the top. Very good. All right, we're going to get an even smaller set of weights and do some chest flies. Here we go. Back down on the ground. Fly the arms out. Warming up the range of motion, telling the muscles we're about to do something and something fun to help them get stronger. Really focus on squeezing at the top of that range of motion. All right. Awesome job, guys. Your warm-up is finished. So, make sure that you have all your weights ready for our first pre-exhaust superset, and I'll see you back here for that. All right, guys, we are ready to get into our first pre-exhaust superset. The reason I'm calling it pre-exhaust is we are doing two moves, and they're both focusing on the chest muscle. So, by the time you hit that second move, your chest is gonna be a little exhausted. So, um, take as much rest as you need in between. Now what I'm doing during our rest period between those supersets is I'm going to be doing 30 seconds of a cardio strength focused move. Now I'm using my BOSU for a lot of them, but you do not have to have a BOSU to do these moves and have a lot of fun and a lot of a good challenge. So I'm going to be doing in between each of these sets, I'm going to be doing 30 seconds of toe taps and then two push-ups on my BOSU. You can absolutely do high knees there and a push up on the ground, no problem at all, okay? So our first two sets are gonna be chest presses and chest flies, and we're gonna be doing them for 15 reps a piece, okay? I'm gonna be using 25 pounds per hand for the chest presses because they're higher volume, and 12 pounds for the flies. So I'm gonna set my BOSU up here. You can do these incline. Um, if you want a little bit of a different range of motion, or you can prop your back all the way up on the BOSU. That is up to you, okay? Let's get those chest presses knocked out first. 15 reps. And here we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, squeeze at the top, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Very good. Get those weights carefully down. We're going straight into our chest flies. Twelve pounds for that for me. Make sure you have enough room. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, try to do these slow and controlled, three, four, five, six, feel that stretch, squeeze at the top. Seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, really squeeze, one, two, Three, four, 
four, really squeeze. Five, very good. All right, finish with your first superset. Let's mark that down. And then we'll go into our 30 seconds of fun breakup cardio moves. There we go. All right, so your first move is either eight high knees plus two push-ups on the ground or toe taps times eight on the BOSU, two push-ups on the BOSU. So you have 10 seconds. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. I remember these are only 30 second intervals, so give them your all. Have a lot of fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two push-ups. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And try to get right in the middle of that BOSU with your toes. Here we go. One and two. You have about 10 seconds left. One and two. Very good. All right. You're finished with that. Get that Bosu either out of the way or back in the way for your next set of 15. Doing this whole workout kind of pyramid style. So each two sets we're going to go down a set number of reps and increase our weight. So I'm going to stick with the 25 pounds here. If you want to go up, you absolutely can do that. And I will stick with the 12s for my flies. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Fifteen reps. One. Pretend you're bending a bar down across your chest. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, five more. Slow and controlled. One, two, three, two more. Four and Five. Very good. Those weights down. Grab your other set for 15 flies. All right. Let's do it. One. Two. Three, four, five, you're one third of the way done. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, two more, fourteen, last one. 15. Very good. All right. Your 15 rep round is finished. There we go. On to
do a 10 rep round next, but not before we do that fun cardio move again, okay? So you have 10 seconds. Wishing that was turned up louder. There we go. Three, two, one. Toe taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two push ups. You can totally do your push ups on the other side of that BOSU. Make it even harder. Four, five, six, eight. You can hit some high knees here. One and two. Very good. All right. Take a breather. You've gotten through your first superset. We've got the same two moves for the next one. A different cardio move, but you have chest presses and chest flies times 10 this time. So think about what you need to do with your weights to make it challenging for you. I'm going to go up to probably 30 per hand here. I'm going to have to take it a little bit easy because I'm still struggling with that wrist. That I've talked about for weeks and weeks, but it is healing. I just don't want to push it too far because this was the mechanism by which I heard it. So I'm going to use 30 pounds for that chest press move. I'm going to use 15 for the flies. Still using my bosu here. Again, you can take these incline, or you can do them flat on the ground or flat on your back on the BOSU. All right, 10 reps, 30 pounds per hand for me. Normally I would be going to 35 here or 40, but you've got to protect your body. So if you have an injury, either totally avoid a move or modify or go down in weight, okay? Here we go. 10 reps, chest presses, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, really squeeze. Eight, get that range of motion. Nine. Ten, very good. Bend that imaginary bar across your chest. Get your weights for some flies for ten reps. And we will just motor on through because that's what we do. Here we go. 10 reps with 15s. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, don't increase those weights unless you can do these moves with control. Nine, ten. All right, you're finished with your first set. Awesome, awesome. Let's lock it down. Your cardio move is going to be burpees on your BOSU or burpees on the floor. I am adding a weighted vest because I just can't seem to get enough of torture. So, a couple ways you can do your burpee on your BOSU. Easy for me to say. You can do it with the blue side up, of course, or you can flip that 
bow suit over and do it with the black side up. I'll show you both ways, okay? You have 10 seconds to decide how you want to knock out your burpee. Just make sure it doesn't knock you out. All right, let's do it. So down for the push up. If you're on the blue side, up. You want to be on the black side. You can even pick up that bow suit when you jump for your burpee. This is how we do it. Either way, we give it our best shot and our best effort. Awesome job. All right, stop that timer, get a drink, and we'll go into your second set of 10. So speaking of this is how we do it, I was slightly impressed the other day when I went to my kid's school and I heard a kid their age singing Montel Jordan's This Is How We Do It. I was like, whoa, how did he know a song from my generation? And two, he was pretty much on key. So I was, I was a little impressed. I thought, that is not what I expected to hear out of the mouth of a third grader, but you know, kids are always surprising. It's like, all right, that bow suit back down. I'll take my vest off for the two strength moves and then I'm gonna put it back on along with my can-do attitude for the cardio move. Whoops. All right, grab your weights for chest presses. I'm still grabbing 30 for this round. And off we go. One, one to ten, two, three, squeeze at the top, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. Ten. Very good. Weights down. Grab your weights for chest flies. And let's do it. Remembering to squeeze. Remembering to slow down that motion at the bottom of the move. I'm going to do these a little bit incline. One, two, three, going to ten, four, five, six, whew, seven. Eight, niner, did I catch a niner in there? Last one, 10, very good. All right, we can mark that round down because you crushed it, awesome job. We're going back into our weighted burpees on the bow suit or not and they don't have to be weighted either, depending on where you are. You make this work for you. Wherever you are is exactly where you need to be. Okay, be proud of it, celebrate it, and be happy when you improve, okay? Here we go. Weighted burpees. Two, one. Push up. And jump. laugh because, at least when I wear these gloves, because they're called Harbinger. I think Harbinger means like some sort of warning, ominous warning. I'm like, I wonder what warning I'm getting from these gloves. 
If it's anything like the warning I got from my Gold's Gym gloves is, well, one, they're going to stink pretty quickly and make your family buy you more gloves. And two, you should never let them get attached to something you're going to wash because when you do accidentally wash them, they're going to dye your whole load of laundry. So, Harbinger, wondering what my warning is going to be this time. All right, get a drink. You have one more of these chest supersets to do. Um, I'm going to recommend you take a one to two minute break here. This is your heaviest set. Give your muscles a couple minutes to recover, then amp up your weight, knock out the superset, and then we'll have um, a no equipment, except for your weighted vest if you want it, superset to do after that. So get a good break here, one to two minutes, um, and we will knock out your last pre-exhaust superset with equipment because we've got another pre-exhaust superset after that, okay? So rest well and I will see you in just a minute. All right guys, I hope you had a wonderful, much needed break. I hope you're feeling nice and rested and recovered. We're heading into our final superset with these chest presses and chest flies. We're doing eight reps this time. We are working on building some mass with nice heavy weights that we can do with proper form, of course. Um, in between each set of eight of these moves, we're going to do 30 seconds of BOSU, low up and overs. This is my second time trying to film this intro to this because that is hard to say. So we're going to get on the BOSU, we're going to do low up and overs, we're staying low. So if, you're, if you don't have a BOSU, I want you to do nice low side shuffles, okay? So let's go. Let's crush this last super set. Let's take off our vest if you're me. You can always put that back on later. I'm using 35 pounds per hand here for these, and I'll be using 17 and a half for my last set of flies, okay? I'm gonna be extra careful getting the weights up because of my wrist that we've all heard so much about. And here we go, eight reps. One, two, three, Four, five, six, two more, seven, and eight. Very good. Bring those weights nice and safely and slowly to your chest. No reason to hurry. Unless you're in a hurry to get to injury town. Here we go. Get those flies knocked out for eight. 17 and a half pounds per hand for me. I would normally be doing these with 20s, but better safe than sorry. Here we go. Eight reps. One. Two. Three, squeeze. Four, five, six, two more, seven, and eight. Very good. I'll tell you my weights not because I expect you to use exactly what I'm using, but to give you a little bit of a reference point. For these moves, okay? We're going into our 30 seconds of BOSU, low up and overs. And here we go. We have 10 seconds again if you don't have BOSU. Do some nice low shuffles right on the ground. Here we go. Nice little defensive stance here. Athletic. Okay, you can take these all the way over and tap like that, or you can stick here, go into a nice low touch on each, each side. You can do a big jump on the top, whatever you want to do. You can work on your quickness, you can work on hitting those glutes. Very good. Whew. 
Ooh, my legs are still so, so, so raw from my race, but boy, those are precious memories. My dad and I look forward to that every single year. This is our fifth year doing it together. And he will be 65 this year. I'm so proud of him. He's absolutely my bestest pal. And I hope we have many more years of running together. We giggle the whole way. And it does not take us a short time to do that marathon. So <laughs> we do a lot of giggling every year on that day. We've even kind of uh, started to call the half marathon our giggle fest. So we just finished giggle fest 2K19 this weekend. All right, let's knock out that very last set of eight with chest presses. You can go up and wait, go up. If you want to stay right where you are, stay where you are. If you need to lower, absolutely do that. Okay, take care of you. No need to travel to injury town. Whew. Sometimes they just happen anyway. Don't speed it on. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two more. Seven, squeeze. Eight, very good. Weights down to the chest. And slowly and carefully put them down. Whew. Grab your weights for your chest flies. And we'll knock out your absolute last set of these. Period. Although what we're moving to will not be relief, just so you know. It'll still be fun, but it won't be a relief. <laughs> It'll just be different. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, a couple more, six, seven, last one, eight. Oh, good job. You are all finished with chest presses and chest flies. High fives. Good job. Very, very proud of you. This was a challenge that took a lot of mental and physical toughness. So now, speaking of more mental and physical toughness, let's get through our Bosu up and overs again. And then we'll move on to our push-up superset, okay? I'm putting on my weighted vest because I'm like, well, why not? Everything hurts anyway. <laughs> All right. This time I'm going to stick low. Still want to work on quickness. I'm not going to take that extra step. I'm just going to come low here. Touch, 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 touch. About 10 seconds to go. Stay fast, keep your chest up. So we can make some awkward eye contact here. Three, two, one. Woo, good job. Finished with that. All right. So the only thing that you have to do now is a superset that involves push-ups. What I'm going to attempt, with all the courage I have, is to do 10 weighted push-ups. So I'm going to do these with my vests on, and then I'm going to immediately go into a drop set, okay? 
Still keeping the vest on, but going down to my knees. And I'm going to do push-ups to failure, okay? <laughs> Which won't be long. So that's what I want you to do. We are going to pair those fun supersets with some weighted step-ups. You can do it on any level of box you'd like. I'm going to probably stick to my 20 for one round, and I may go up to my 24-inch box for the next. So we will hit those push-ups here in just a second. And then I thought we'd have a little lunge fun at the end. So, because why not? I mean, at this point, <laughs> why not? Whew. I should probably have a, this is how we do it playing, since that's the song of the day. <laughs> All right. Weighted push-ups times 10. Here we go. Awesome. You can do them on your knees to start. Whatever you need to do to get these done. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, two more. Nine, keep that core tight. Ten. Whew. <laughs> and push ups to failure on your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo. Let's do two more. Nine. 10. Woo! Man, I did a triceps and shoulder workout the other day, and both of those muscles, along with my chest, are talking to me. So, wow. All right, if you want to grab a dumbbell to make this heavier and harder for those step ups, go right ahead. Since my legs are still recovering, I'm just going to do it with my best, okay? So, you have step ups for 30 seconds. In 10 seconds. If you have a lower box, get a good pace. You can do them this way where you're tapping in the rear, or you can just do regular alternating step ups. You can hit one leg at a time for the first interval, hit the other leg for the second. 10 seconds to go. Very good. Very, very good. All right. We have one more set of your weighted push ups. And they are gross, I know. But you can do this. I'm definitely feeling it. I may do mine on top of weights this time just for less pressure on the wrist. All right. Here we go, we might as well get it done. Now, a couple things you can do here. For your toe push-ups, you can take your legs out wide to put less pressure on the chest. You can go down to your knees with the weighted vest you can go down to your knees, period, okay? As long as you're getting these reps in, your muscles are getting nice and exhausted, you're getting that time under tension, you are doing what you should be doing, okay? So, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Ouchie. All right, here we go. Into those knee ones. Here we go. One, <laughs> two. I start to giggle when I'm in pain. Three, four. Move my weights out just a little bit. Five, six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna hit two more, I think. Eleven, keep going. Twelve. Whoo, that was definitely the failure. Awesome job, guys. Whew. All right. We are finished with all of our strength, at least for the arms. We're going to hit our last 30 seconds of step ups. And then we have a little fun for the end. Okay? Then you got to cool down, so no big deal there at all. All right. You have 10 seconds. I think I'm gonna do those rear taps for this 30 seconds of step ups. I'm gonna get up on the box and then tap down. How many seconds now? to send us off today. I thought about just one minute of some weighted lunges. <clears throat> you can grab some dumbbells for these if you want. But then I thought, well, we're already using our boxes, so what if we did two sets of a minute of weighted lunges, or body weight lunges, do some high step ups. Okay, you could do squats here, you could do really anything. Um, the challenge is your legs and your glutes. And then I thought we'd go back to the lunges and the step up. So it'll be about four minutes. I'll give you a 15 second break in between the minutes. I think that'd be a good send off. Good little cardio and leg strength send off. So I think that's what we're going to do. You have 15 seconds and we'll start those lunges. Get your mind right here. I'm gonna use my 20 inch rocks for the step ups because why not? Here we go. Nice lunges. You can grab weights for this. Again, because my legs are just coming back to life here, I'm going to stick with my best. Remember here, as always with your lunges, you want your knee behind the toe. You want your upper body nice. And upright, the further you reach with that lunge, the more of a challenge you have in doing it. Feel your hip flexor stretch. This is a good dynamic mobility move for your hip flexors. And it's just all around fun. We're having a lunge date. You and me. Woo! Here we go. Getting a little wibbly wobbly. Five, three, two, one. Very good, you have 15 seconds. Pick which leg move you're gonna do. It might be body weight squats. It might be step ups. I'm gonna do some high step ups on my box. There we go. You can add a knee. These will be slower, so don't worry about that. You may fall against your window, like I almost did. Focus on the squeeze, slow lower, on the way down. Woohoo! Good times. Eight 
Very good. All right, one more set of lunges. One more set of step ups. Whew. Looks like my timer on here has five intervals and this will only make four. Oh, what should we do? Hmm, have to think of another way to use that last minute. Whew. Whew. I think I have some ideas. We hate to waste an interval. Halfway there, even more than halfway there. Make your steps bigger. Push off. If you're using weights, make sure you're not swinging. Keep them nice by your sides or on your shoulders. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. High box step ups for me. You do you. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Awesome job. Halfway there. Think about your core, your balance. 20 seconds to go. Woo! <laughs> Getting a little excited there. And off balance. My vest always takes me to one side or the other. If I'm not paying attention, to tighten my core. Very good. All right, guys. We have one more minute left. So, I thought maybe we could do some burpees. I might do a little bit of uh, box jump, box squat jump, decline push-up burpees. So, what that will mean for me is a good jump, then a decline push-up. Okay, so that is, I think, what's going to happen for me. You could do regular burpees here. It'll be fun no matter what you do. You have five seconds. Three, two, one. So I'm going to box squat jump, then I'm going to jump my feet up for a burpee. Jump here. Box squat. How are you guys doing? Got yeah, about 15 more seconds. Very good. All right, you guys have absolutely crushed this workout. Pat yourself on the back if you can still reach there. And wipe it off and I'll see you back here for your cool down. Awesome job today. All right guys, you certainly earned it and it is cool down time. So we're gonna start with just some chest stretches. Put that right hand on the wall, turn to the left away from the palm. Adjust your hand. If you're feeling it more in your bicep, adjust the hand a little higher. Right, 
switch sides. Put the left hand on the wall, stepping away from it. You guys did such an awesome job today. All right, release that. Let's do a shoulder stretch. Right hand across, hook with the left, looking over the right shoulder. You may notice a little neck tension today, especially if you did things on the BOSU. So make sure you check in with your neck and take care of it. Awesome. Other side. Tricep stretch. Pat yourself on the back with that right hand. Pull the elbow across with the left. Awesome job. Other side. Patting ourselves on the back with the left. Pulling across with the right. Excellent. Clasp those fingers together in the front, round the spine over. Bring the arms up, squeeze the back, open up the chest here. Release those fingers, get into a nice cactus arm pose here. Let's work on those legs and those hip flexors a bit. Let's step one leg back, push into that right hip flexor if your left leg is in front, and vice versa if you started with the other leg. You can open up the arms again. All right, step it up. Other side. You can open up the chest again. Very good. Step it up. Hang out here for just a second. Those hamstrings nice and loose. If you have an elevation, use it. If you have the wall, use it. Get a good little calf stretch here. You can also press into your lats and shoulders here by lowering your chest. Up you go, other leg. Job. Let's come up and do a couple quad stretches. Relax that leg. Other side. You guys did an awesome job today. All right, let's shake out those arms. Crisscross them. Make sure everything's nice and loose. I want you to make a couple circles with your neck. I'm going to go clockwise first. Good job. Let's reverse. Just small half circles at the bottom. Awesome. Slowly lift that neck, roll the shoulders, and you are all done for today. Awesome job, guys. I will see you back at the camera for our send off.
All right, guys, awesome job crushing this chest workout of epic proportions. <laughs> I don't know how epic they were, but pretty exhausting. I hope you guys are feeling nice and tired, maybe a little bit shaky, and hopefully you'll be only nicely sore tomorrow. So now what I need you to do is drink a lot of water today. I need you to get a healthy post-workout meal on your plate 30 to 90 minutes after this workout. If you have any questions about what that might be or how to put it together, or if you need a more concrete, tailored nutritional plan, please email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com, okay? You can also find some online personal training options there, um, just some coaching, goal setting, and our four-week glute growing program. So hit us up with an email if you want any of those things or if you need any other help with health and fitness questions and we will be happy to talk to you and help you out. Also wanted to let you know, I am still crushing those Velvet Hammer Pipes videos, so I think I'm on week three now, heading into week four. So those will be finished before we know it and hopefully onto a nice platform for all of us to access them, so stay tuned. Other than that today, make sure that you stretch some more, Make sure that you take adequate rest days, be kind to your body because we want our fitness journey not to just be a really explosive small period of time, but a nice long journey that we can sustain to help us become functional into the golden years. So, <laughs> but make every year a golden year by being nice and active. So um, take care of yourself, drink your water, uh, eat well, and be consistent and you will see the results that you want to see. Other than all of that, be kind to somebody difficult this week. We are heading into that busy holiday season. Those difficult people will be everywhere you look. And they might just be right in the mirror when you look into that. So be kind to yourself, love the difficult people, and keep making wonderful healthy choices to help you mentally and physically deal with those kinds of stresses. So whether those pre-exhaust supersets didn't leave you feeling exhausted at all, or whether you were pre-exhausted before you ever hit your mat, you finished, and as always, it is your health today and every day, so you better hit it hard. Boom! Have an awesome day, guys, an awesome week, and as you know, I am always proud of you. I'll see you soon.